What's going on guys, it's Draman and today we are doing a performance review on the Adidas Harden Volume 2. Now I actually never played in the Harden Volume 1, I never got around to it and that's one of the reasons why I was super excited to play in these. And this is a sneaker that actually has a couple of issues on paper but despite those issues I still really really enjoyed playing in these and I'll tell you why. But first let's start as always with the thing that stood out to me the most and that would be the fit. Now I always go down half a size when it comes to Adidas no matter what the sneaker is. So that's exactly what I did here with the Hardens. But despite going down half a size, I still experienced some dead space in the forefoot area. And a couple people on Twitter and Instagram have told me that they also have been experiencing similar issues with the fit where the length of the sneaker was just a little too long. So that is a bummer because you're not getting that close one-to-one -one fit at least in the front of the sneaker. But luckily, the lockdown in these is absolutely amazing. The lacing system does a really good job at locking in your foot and preventing it from sliding back and forth within the sneaker itself. In fact, sometimes the lacing system was too good and I ended up having to loosen up the laces from time to time because it felt like the circulation to my foot was actually getting cut off. So again, I would recommend going down half a size. They may end up being a little too long, but again, that's not a huge issue because the lockdown here is fantastic. As for wide footers, the Harden Volume 2 isn't a particularly wide foot despite the bottom of the shoe looking extremely wide. I myself experienced little to no dead space in that midfoot area. If anything, it was a little bit tight. So if you are a wide footer, I would just recommend getting whatever size you usually get in Adidas. If you do that, you should be pretty good. All right, so the next thing we're gonna talk about is the traction. Now this is very interesting because a lot of you guys have been letting me know that you've been having major issues with the traction, but I can only tell you guys what I experienced when I played in these. And for me personally, I thought the traction was pretty solid. The outsole features a data-driven pattern like its predecessor, which looks very busy and does allow for coverage in multiple directions. But overall, it's a pretty flat design that could use some peaks to help bite the floor just a little harder. But at the end of the day, I was getting pretty solid coverage on a variety of core conditions. Now the rubber compound does have a tendency to pick up some dust, so you will have to wipe every now and then. But if you keep wiping, the traction should hold you down. Which is why I'm surprised that a lot of people have been reporting issues with the traction because for me, everything seemed to work just fine with just a couple of wipes every now and then. So I decided to get to the bottom of this issue because it really intrigued me. What was the problem here? And from what I can gather, those people who have a colorway that feature a non-white outsole, whether it be black or gray or whatever, they've been experiencing more issues with the traction than those who have a colorway with a white outsole like I have here. So while that may seem a little far-fetched, I understand it isn't uncommon. We have seen this before. For whatever reason, some colorways use a better rubber compound than others. So if you play on a nasty, grimy floor with a lot of dust and you just can't trust it, play it safe, get yourself a colorway with a white outsole. All right, moving along to what is easily my favorite aspect of the Harden Volume 2s, that would be the cushioning because I just got one word for you guys, boost. So obviously you have a full length boost foam midsole which is easily one of the best boost experiences that you can get on the hardwood. Not only does it provide a ton of energy return and impact protection, but it's also a surprisingly responsive ride that allows you to make quick changes in directions without feeling like you ever miss a step whatsoever. Now don't get me wrong, these are not gonna feel as bouncy as something like the Crazy Explosive, but in return, you're getting a ton of stability, which again, is great for those who want a quick and responsive ride, but at the same time, you're still getting a ton of energy return, which will help you feel more explosive when you're getting up during those hard drives to the basket. And at the end of the day, if you want the best, most versatile boost experience that you can get on the hardwood, it really doesn't get any better than this. As for the materials, this is probably my second favorite feature on the Harden 2s, and that's pretty interesting because in my opinion, it could have been a whole lot better. The forefoot features a textile mesh upper, which is extremely comfortable, and I really have no complaints other than I wish it was prime knit, but even then, I was still very happy with how the upper felt around my foot, and the best part is, it required zero breaking time. All you gotta do with these is take them out of the box, lace them up, and boom, you're ready to go. Now as for that synthetic overlay that is integrated with the lacing system, 
I personally feel like if Adidas featured a premium raw material here, like a leather or a suede, that just would have put these way over the top. But as they sit right now, it's solid, it works. For the most part, it goes unnoticed during play and you really can't ask for more at that point. But if you are comparing the synthetic overlay to what is used in the front of the shoe, it does end up feeling a little underwhelming. All right, so last but not least, let's talk about the support. Now I do realize that this is a low top and I'm just a guard, but for the most part, I really have no complaints in terms of support. But if you are a big who needs a ton of support features, these wouldn't be the first thing I recommend, but that does not mean they aren't supported. There is an internal heel cup, which is very sturdy and that helps a ton with lateral support. And the encapsulated boost foam in the forefoot combined with the fairly wide base does wonders in terms of stability and allows you to feel a lot closer to the ground than you actually are. I think that if you're a guard, there's more than enough here to support you during play. And that's interesting because usually a guard shoe should be light and these are surprisingly bottom heavy clocking in at just over 18 ounces which is pretty heavy for a low top sneaker that features just mesh and synthetic materials. But at the end of the day, for those who are looking for a quote unquote supportive sneaker, these wouldn't be the best option, but that's not me calling them unsupportive. I'm just saying that it gets away with doing just enough. All right, so to wrap things up, I really enjoy playing in these and they will definitely be staying in my gym bag for a while because they're just too reliable. Despite my issues with the fit, I absolutely love playing in these, in large part thanks to that full length boost cushioning, as well as the comfortable materials. Now I know some of you guys might disagree with me about the traction, but for me, it worked. I can only tell you what I experienced and everything was fine traction wise. And if you still don't believe me, let me ask you this. What reason do I have to lie? I don't. The traction worked for me, the cushion worked for me, the support was enough for me, the fit, Okay, the fit does need a little bit of work, but the lockdown worked for me. Everything about this sneaker, it just worked, and I felt completely comfortable during my time in these. And I think if you get a solid traction experience like I did, I think you two are really going to enjoy these. They're versatile, they're comfortable, and most importantly, they're just flat out fun to play in. So there you guys have it. That was my review of the Harden Volume 2. If you have any more questions, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If this review helped you out, please consider leaving me a like. It helps me out a ton. And be sure to subscribe to this channel for more great content just like this. My name's Jaren. It's been great having you. Catch you in the next one. Peace. Ooh, what is this? Did this come with all Kobe's? A little bag like this? It's got a Nike sign on it. I didn't even know that. But, oh. Whoa. Oh man, yes. Whoa, let me take out this tissue paper. Whoa, this sneaker is hella light. I